Hi guys, welcome to the presentation on Kenken International Championship. Today we want to introduce a new type of a maths puzzle to you. This is known as Kenken puzzle. It's a really simple and easy puzzle to play as I will demonstrate through the course of this presentation. So without further ado, let's look at what a Kenken puzzle looks like. This is what a Kenken puzzle looks like. It is a square with even smaller squares inside of it. A Kenken puzzle will always be a square. It will never be a rectangle or a circle. So the objective behind the Kenken puzzle is very simple, is to fill each and every small boxes with numbers, as you can see here. But how do we do this? That is the biggest question. So let's look at how to play a Kenken puzzle. So the first thing you do when you see a Kenken puzzle is try and figure out what kind of a Kenken puzzle it is. This one here is a 3 by 3 puzzle. The reason being, it has 3 boxes on the top and 3 boxes on the side. If there were 4 boxes on the top and 4 boxes on the side, we would have called it a 4 by 4 Kenken puzzle. Okay, this brings us to the first rule of Kenken puzzles. The first rule stipulates that if it's a 3 by 3 Kenken puzzle, the only numbers that we can use to fill out the boxes are 1, 2 and 3. Uh, similarly, if it's a 4 by 4 Kenken puzzle, we can use the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. 5 by 5, we can use the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, so on and so forth. Now, in a Kenken puzzle, you cannot use 0. There is no place for a 0. You can't use negative numbers. You can't use fractions or decimals. You can only use whole numbers. Okay. Now, the second rule of Kenken puzzle is also very simple. If you have ever played Sudoku before, this rule should be uh, familiar to you. So it states that if you put a number down in any one of the boxes, you cannot repeat the same number in the same row or the same column, which is denoted here by the red arrows. So in this example, we have used 2 in the top left box. We cannot repeat 2 again in the same row or the same column. Anywhere else in the puzzle, you can write 2. So diagonally, you can write 2. So these are the two very simple rules of Kenken puzzles. Now, if you put these two rules together, what you come up with is that in a 3 by 3 Kenken puzzle, each row and each column will have at least a 1, 2 and a 3. The order doesn't matter, but it should at least have a 1, 2 and a 3. So in a 4 by 4, it would have a 1, 2, 3 and a 4. Okay, so let's look at the functional rules of Kenken puzzles. Now, the first thing you'll see when you see a Kenken puzzle are these rectangle outline boxes. Now, these are what we call cages. Cages are used to trap numbers and it will be our guiding posts in solving the puzzle. Now, each cage is further subdivided into boxes and this is how we know how many numbers to put inside a cage. Each box corresponds to one number. So, if a cage has two boxes, that would mean that that cage would contain two numbers. Okay, let's look at a special cage. This one here is called a freebie. The reason this is called a freebie is because this cage only has one box and just one number. In all the other cages, you will see that there is at least two boxes. There is a number and then there is a mathematical operator. This box here has only one box and just a number. So what you do when you see a freebie is you just write the number down. That is why it's called a freebie. It's a free cage. So the first thing you do when you see a Kenken puzzle is try and figure out what kind of a Kenken puzzle it is that is going to tell you what numbers you can use to fill out the puzzle. And the second thing you do is to fill out the freebies that will help the ball rolling that will get you going. Okay, now let's look at the functional rules of Kenken. This cage here has two boxes and it says five plus. What does this mean? Very simply, what it means is number plus number should be equal to five. So, in this cage here, we have to use two numbers, add them up, and the answer has to be 5. So, our options are very simple. The first one is 2 plus 3, of course. As I said, order doesn't matter, so it can be 3 plus 2 as well. Now, some of you must be wondering that 1 plus 4 is also 5. But, this option won't be correct for this particular puzzle, because if you remember the first rule, this is a 3 by 3 puzzle, and we can only use the numbers 1, 2, and 3. If this were to be a 4x4 four four puzzle, we could have used 1 plus 4. Okay, so that's it. That's all you need to know to start solving your Kenken puzzles. Now let's look at all the different operators that you can use in a Kenken puzzle. We already saw 5 plus. 
This one here has one minus. What does this mean? It means you have to subtract two numbers and the answer has to be one. So two and one is our answer. So two minus one gives you one. Similarly, in this one, it is three division. It would mean that we have to divide two numbers to get three. So the only option we have is three divided by one. This is an interesting one. This cage has three boxes. So we would need three numbers. It says nine times. So we would need to multiply three numbers to get nine. Hence, three, one, and three. Three times one is three. Again, three times three is nine. All right, great. So these are all the rules that you would need to know to solve your own Ken Ken puzzle. So remember that if you have put a number down in any one box, you cannot repeat the same number in the same row or the same column. So with that being said, I would recommend you to pause the video right now. You have six minutes to solve the four puzzles that are in front of you. And then I will come back and show you guys the solutions. All right, your time is up. I hope you guys could do all the four completely. Okay, let's look at the solution. Now remember, this is a puzzle, hence, even if one box is wrong, your entire puzzle is wrong. There are no step marks here. So be honest to yourself when I show you the solution. If I'm too fast for you at any point of time, please pause the video and check at your own pace. So let's look at the first solution. The second solution. And the third solution. And finally, the fourth solution. Okay. So I hope you guys got that correct. Should be easy. Ken Ken puzzles are really simple to play. And as I demonstrated to you, it is also very easy to learn. Now, of course, some of you might be confused at this point of time, but that's quite all right because this is your first time. Just like anything else, it would take practice for you to get better at something. So if you like playing these puzzles, then I have a wonderful opportunity for you guys. Now, as I said earlier, we are here to discuss about Ken Ken International Championship. So that's what I'm going to talk about in this section of the presentation. Now, Ken Ken International Championship is a global international championship that has been happening in New York for the last five years. And we have introduced in UAE for the first time this year. So you guys are really at the forefront of the puzzle revolution that is sweeping the UAE. So this year, we have tried to make this competition as big as possible. So we have over nine countries participating from all over the globe. And there's going to be around 70,000 students who will be pitted against each other to test their puzzle acumen. Okay, so just like any other competition, there are stages to this championship. So the first stage is the school level round, then the Emirates, then the national level round, and finally the international level round. So the puzzles that you solve today was a taster of how your school level round is going to be. In the school level round, you will need to solve six puzzles in 30 minutes. We will select the winners and we will make you guys compete at the Emirates level, where you will be competing with all the other school in your Emirates. So if you're from Dubai, then you will be competing in all the other schools in Dubai. We will select the winners from the Emirates level round and then we will make you guys compete at the national level round where you will be competing with all the other schools in the entirety of UAE. Finally, we will select 10 students, one from each year grade and fly you guys to New York to participate in the international championship representing UAE. It will be an all expense paid trip. And if you happen to be one of those 10 people, we will pay for your entire trip to the US and make you guys compete at the international level. All right. So that is all that you need to know for the championship structure. Now you must be wondering what else can I get out of this championship? And that's a very fair question. So at every step of the way, we have tried to include some sort of rewards and recognition for you guys. So you can, just like any other championship, expect to win medals, certificates, trophies and shields. Now, because this is an international championship, we have tied up with all the major print and online brands. So if you subscribe to New York Times, you can see Ken Ken there. So if you happen to be the winners, we will make sure that your name appears in any one of these mediums. And finally, just to add an icing on the cake, this year we are doling out cash prizes and goodies worth 100,000 throughout the championship. So there is a lot of things to win. And plus, this is a global event. 
So you should definitely register. But the question is, how do you register? And it is very simple. What you need to do is fill out the registration form that is given to you, bring the 100 AED fee and submit it to your class teacher. That is all you need to do to take part in this wonderful championship. I hope to see you guys at the championship. Till then, get your Ken Ken on. Thank you.